Hello, this is Sarah's Living with MS. MS is a terrible disease all by itself, but that doesn't mean that you, can get other, that you can't get other diseases or illnesses along with it. Is it an increased risk or is it just life? It's a bummer just because you have MS doesn't exclude you from getting other illnesses or cancer. For me so far, I have had breast cancer. I was diagnosed with breast, breast cancer in August of 2021. I was diagnosed with MS in May of 2019. When I was diagnosed with, with cancer, I was taking Ogrevis for about a year and a half at, at that point. Although they can't say for certain that is how I got breast cancer, there is an increased risk of breast, breast cancer when you take Ogrevis. Other than Ogrevis, I had zero risk factors for breast cancer, and I did end up doing the genetic testing and I am not a carrier of the breast cancer genes BRAC1 and BRAC2. My diagnosis came from a yearly mammogram. I had calcifications in both breasts that they wanted to biopsy. One of them came back positive for cancer. Luckily, my breast cancer was caught early. I was diagnosed with infiltrating lobular carcinoma. The tumor measured 0.3 centimeters. I was HER2 negative and HR positive. This is a better one to have. My treatment was a lumpectomy. I did not have to get chemo. Radiation and hormone therapy was recommended to prevent a reoccurrence. However, with my MS, I decided not to do the radiation. I just did not know what that would have, what that kind of stress would have done to my body. I did start taking the hormone therapy, but I ended up stopping that as well because it just made my life miserable. This is a decision I will have to live with for the rest of my life. I have no idea if I did the right thing because I could still get a reoccurrence even if I did the radiation and the hormone therapy, but every fiber in my body was telling me not to do the radiation. The stress of having cancer, the surgery and recovery did make my MS symptoms worse. When I woke up from surgery, I couldn't move my right leg. By the end of the day, it did come back, but it was still very scary. I had to start using a cane when I left the house 100% of the time. I had the surgery in early October 2021, and by summer of 2022, I was able to stop using the cane and use my Bioness instead. I did a little research on the MS Society website, and there doesn't seem to be any evidence that having MS increases your chances for cancer. With Ocrevus, there is no definitive evidence that it causes cancer, however, it's considered an increased risk. There are studies going on right now to see if MS does cause other health conditions, but no answers yet. I would like to know, is it the MS that causes it? Is it the medication you take or is it just life? This whole experience has made me realize you can get a disease like cancer or MS at any time. No one is immune. You can eat right, exercise, and have a positive mindset, and these things can still happen. I do think eating healthy and exercising and mindfulness is important and can prevent diseases and cancer. There are just some things that are unavoidable. I think there can be a stereotype that diseases and illnesses happen to people that are overweight or unhealthy, and that is just not true. It can happen to anyone. Having breast cancer and multiple sclerosis has changed me, mostly for the better, but also for the worse. I find myself having zero patience for negativity and people that are selfish or unsympathetic. You see the ugly side of humanity when you have a disability. People rushing around you, not saying excuse me, making you trip, people using the disabled spots in the parking lot when they don't really need them, but they have a disability card from a surgery or they're using someone else's just so they can park closer, not realizing that people do actually need those, and the staring. You would think someone walking with a cane, walking with a limp, or having a bioness wrapped around their calf is the most interesting thing in the world. Like they don't realize their eyes, what they do to me and how they make me feel, but they, but they stare and they look and they don't say anything, they just give you, they just stare at you and it just makes you feel so self-conscious and really just horrible. I get jealous of people that seem to be living a normal, healthy life. I get in a rut sometimes where I feel bad for myself and think I'll never run, dance, or even walk on the beach again. But I could have it so much worse and I have so many things to be thankful for. And I don't think I realized that before all these things happened. And I don't think I realized before of how great I have it. I have gotten so much support from my family and friends and I appreciate every day that I get to spend time with them. 
and I really appreciate them for how great they are and how lucky I am to have them in my life. I focus on the positive, see all the things that I can do, not focus on the things I can't do, and all the help and support that I can provide to other people going through similar things. Don't give up. What are the things that you are thankful for and what are the things that keep you going? Please comment below and please visit my channel and subscribe to see my past and future videos on my life with MS. Thank you for watching.